two 1999 Yamaha SUV Wave Runners on a custom built trailer. The trailer is about uh, 28 feet long. Uh, we had to put these one behind the other because they are too wide to put side by side on a trailer on the highway. These Wave Runners have, uh, carry a maximum of four people a load capacity of 662 pounds. They're a little over 12 feet in length each one and 5 feet wide. Their dry weight is each is 816 pounds. The engines are two-stroke with three cylinders. They have an oil injection lubrication system, water-cooled cooling system, electric starter, digital ignition, and they have a flywheel magneto charging system. The propulsion system is jet pump. It's got a single stage axial flow jet pump. The uh, impeller rotation is, is counterclockwise. It has a direct drive from the engine transmission. Recommended fuel is regular gasoline. Engine oil is Yamalube, Yamalube two-stroke outboard oil. Fuel tank capacity is 18 and one half gallons. Oil tank capacity 1.45 U.S. gallons. We have large capacity wing storage on each side of each of the wave runners. You can see the depth of this. We can put a ski in. We already have uh, numerous items stored in there. Ski, fishing poles, put that over the top of it and it fits. Yeah, I got it. Okay, now it's all in there. Show that. That closes. So you see the, the capacity, it's got a depth as well as uh, nice width and the capacity of these wings. Well, well, I know we've got a lot of stuff in there. We have all kinds of stuff. Okay. And uh, there it is. The lighting is good. You can see the capacity of these wings. And we have large capacity in front. Uh, it's actually a wet well. A wet well. Each compartment. This is a, uh, I believe that's a five gallon bucket. Still, there's plenty of room in there. On each side, could easily put a uh, cooler or something in there for transportation. And there's also a drain at the bottom in case you want to drain anything out. We have ropes and other things in there. We've replaced several items on the trailer. We've kept it in good condition. Had it rewired last summer. Of course it has new tires. We put new hubs on it. The uh, second wave runner, we actually have a hinged winch. So once that uh, wave runner is released into the water, then this winch is turned sideways and the trailer is backed further in. So the uh, front wave runner can then be released from the trailer. Small glove box compartment below the uh, handlebars. And we have, I took, removed the seats to show the engine compartment. And right here we have uh, where the oil refill is located. Of course we have the battery compartment, fire extinguisher back there. We have a flush right here for uh, on land operation and just a brief start of the engine. On the back of each wave runner we've got a convenient step when you're out in the water. Pull that down as a foothold to uh, Yes, to get back onto the wave runner. Works really well. Very easy.
especially for folks our age. <laughs> Okay. Got it? Okay, we'll put the seat cushions back on. Very convenient. Of course, this is where the seating for four people would be. You cut it? Start it? Yes. Okay, water's cold. We were going to put these in the water, but today we're just uh, taking a movie and showing the features of the Wave Runners. This one has uh, 144 hours, and the one on the front of the trailer has 159 hours. 